Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel Learn with Sahira. In this video, we are going to see the calculation of mean, median and mode in continuous series. Continuous series is also known as grouped data. In our previous video, in our part 1, we have seen the calculation of mean, median and mode in discrete series. It is also known as ungrouped data. If you didn't watch that video, please go to my channel and watch that video. I will be sharing that video link in this video description also. If you watch both the parts, part 1 my previous video and part 2 this video, you will be perfect with the concept mean, median and mode in both the series, discrete series as well as continuous series. Whatever the question they may give you in the examination, you will be able to do the solution and easily you can score full marks. So if you just watch one video, that will be not okay. Because sometimes in the examination they will be asking continuous series. Sometimes they will be asking discrete series. So if you be perfect with both the series then only it will be okay. Formulas will be different but the procedure will be same. Okay so let us get started. But before starting I must say you that if you are new to our channel learn with Sahira. Subscribe it for more videos and don't forget to share this video with your friends too. And if you want the notes of all the subjects and languages, whatever you are having in your group, I will be giving you the access for all subject and languages, important question and answer notes, which are easy, simple and clear to understand. If you want the notes, let me know on my Instagram, drop me a message, want notes, I will be giving you all subject notes, okay? Uh, my Instagram ID is learn with Sahira. I will be mentioning my Instagram ID link in this video description also. Note payment is must. I repeat payment is must. Okay, so without getting late, let us get started. First, we will be calculating mean. Then we will be going to median. In the last, we will be seeing mode. Okay, so whenever you are calculating something, whatever it is there in the question, you have to take it. Okay, we are having marks column as well as number of students column. So we took marks and number of students the same way you have to take in your solution also. See here they have not mentioned X and F. Sometimes they will be mentioning, sometimes they will not be mentioning. If they didn't mention, you have to take marks as X, number of students as F. Okay. And whatever they have given in the question, you take that. Okay. Marks first one is, uh, sorry, it is 0 to 10. Okay. 0 to 10. This is nothing. 0 to 10. 10 to 20, 20 to 30, 30 to 40, 40 to 50. Okay, then number of students you have to take as it is 3, 8, 12, 7, 2. Okay, now you have to calculate or you have to see the mid value. Okay. When you are calculating mean in continuous series, you have to go with mid value. But when you are calculating mean in discrete series, no need to go with the mid value. In our last video already we have discrete, uh, discussed about discrete series. Now let us see about the continuous series. Okay, mid value is nothing but whatever you, the, the number is lying in between both of these numbers, you have to take it. Okay, mid value from 0 to 10 is 5. Okay, so here uh, 10 to 20, 20 to 30, interval is only 10. But sometimes if they give you 12, 18, 26, like that, what you have to do? You have to plus both of these numbers, like 10 plus 20, it is 10 plus 20, it is 30. After getting this number, what you have to do? You have to divide it by 2, you will be getting the mid value, okay. If they give like this, it will be really very easy to find out mid value. But if they give uh, jumbled, then it will be hard or difficult. So what you have to do, you have to add both of these values and divide it by 2. You will be getting the mid value. For 10 to 20, mid value is 15. 20 to 30, 25. 30 to 40, 35. And 40 to 50, it is 45. So we got the mid value. Okay. Now what we have to do? we have to calculate or we have to see fm this mid value let us assume it as m okay fm how we will be getting fm when we multiply f with m we will be getting fm the value of f and the value of m you have to take both the values and you have to multiply not add okay so you can take a calculator don't do any mistakes better to uh, do the calculation on calculator itself 3 into 5 how much it is it is 15 then 
एट इंटू फिफ्टीन हाउ मच इट इज वन ट्वेंटी टूवेल्व इंटू ट्वेंटी फाइव थ्री हंड्रेड सेवन इंटू थर्टी फाइव टू फोर्टी फाइव टू इंटू फोर्टी फाइव इट इज नाइंटी ओके सो वी गॉट एफ एम ऑल्सो वेन यू कैलकुलेट और वेन यू मल्टीप्लाई थ्री विथ फाइव और द वैल्यू ऑफ एफ विथ एम यू विल बी गेटिंग एफ एम ओके इन द आंसर बुकलेट ऑल्सो यू हैव टू ड्रॉ ए बॉक्स लाइक दिस ओके आई एम जस्ट यूजिंग द पेन इन द आंसर बुकलेट यू हैव टू यूज स्केल एंड पेंसिल क्लियर एंड नीट बॉक्स यू हैव टू ड्रॉ ओके ओके सो वॉट यू हैव टू डू नाउ यू हैव टू फाइंड सिगमा एफ एम सिगमा एफ एम इज नथिंग बट वेन यू एड ऑल दीज वैल्यूज यू विल बी गेटिंग सिगमा एफ एम यू एड फिफ्टीन प्लस वन ट्वेंटी प्लस थ्री हंड्रेड प्लस टू फोर्टी फाइव प्लस नाइंटी हाउ मच इट इज इट इज सेवन सेवेंटी लेट एस क्रॉस चेक अगेन फिफ्टीन प्लस वन ट्वेंटी प्लस थ्री हंड्रेड प्लस टू फोर्टी फाइव प्लस नाइंटी इट इज सेवन सेवेंटी वी गॉट नाउ लेट एस कैलकुलेट एन एन इज ऑल्सो नोन एज Sigma f you can take sigma f or you can take n when you calculate or when you add all these numbers you will be getting n three plus eight plus twelve plus seven plus two how much it is it is thirty two now let us find the mean let us highlight these values with some other pen I took red pen here okay now what we are going to see we are going to see the mean let us calculate mean to calculate mean we should know the formula of mean what is the formula of mean formula of mean here is x bar equals to sigma fm by n so substitute the values into this formula x bar equals to sigma fm how much it is it is 770 770 by 32 okay Calculate this seven seventy divided by thirty two. It is mean. Mean is how much we got? You see, twenty four point zero. You can take it as twenty four also, no issues. Or you can also say take it as twenty four point zero. So therefore, mean is twenty four. Okay, so this is our mean. Let us go with the median. Median. Okay. Median. Here, median. Of what we need to do first to find the median. First, we need to find the term. Okay. So what you have to write median. The position. The position of median class is n by 2 okay in a discrete series we saw n plus 1 by 2 but here it is only n by 2 so what we need to do we need to uh, substitute the values what is n n is 32 32 by 2 Okay, so when we do the calculation, thirty-two by two, what term or what number we are getting? We have to see thirty-two divided by two. How much it is? It is sixteen. We are getting sixteen here. So sixteen is nothing but it is the term. Okay, sixteenth term. Okay, this is sixteenth term. To find sixteenth term, we need to find. cumulative frequency whenever we are finding median we should find cumulative frequency in our previous video also i have said you about this cumulative frequency let us go with the cumulative frequency here let us take marks then students or you can also write number of students okay marks is x students is f then we are going to see cumulative frequency yes or no then how much is the marks marks are 0 to 10 10 to 20 20 to 30 30 to 40 40 to 50 number of students how much it is it is 3 8 12 7 2 3 8 12 7 2 
थ्री एट ट्वेल्व सेवन टू दिस इज नथिंग स्पेशल और आई हैव नॉट टेकन दिस वैल्यूज फ्रॉम एनी वेयर वॉट एवर दे हैव गिवन इन द क्वेश्चन दैट वैल्यूज ओनली आई हैव टेकन नाउ लेट इज फाइंड क्यूमुलेटिव फ्रीक्वेंसी क्यूमुलेटिव फ्रीक्वेंसी इज नथिंग बट इन अवर प्रीवियस वीडियो आई हैव सेड यू दैट फ्रीक्वेंसी वॉट एवर द फ्रीक्वेंसी इज देयर दैट फ्रीक्वेंसी ओनली यू हैव टू टेक हियर इन द क्यूमुलेटिव फ्रीक्वेंसी देन वॉट यू हैव टू डू यू हैव टू एड दिस क्यूमुलेटिव फ्रीक्वेंसी विद द अदर फ्रीक्वेंसी देन यू विल बी गेटिंग द न्यू क्यूमुलेटिव फ्रीक्वेंसी थ्री प्लस एट इट इज एलेवन एलेवन प्लस टूवेल्व इट इज ट्वेंटी थ्री ट्वेंटी थ्री प्लस सेवन इट इज थर्टी थर्टी प्लस टू इट इज थर्टी टू सो दिस इज अवर क्यूमुलेटिव फ्रीक्वेंसी सो वी गॉट सिक्सटींथ टर्म राइट वी गॉट सिक्सटींथ टर्म सो वेर दिस सिक्सटींथ टर्म लाइज वी हैव टू सी इन द क्यूमुलेटिव फ्रीक्वेंसी डू वी हैव सिक्सटींथ टर्म और सिक्सटीन नंबर इन दिस क्यूमुलेटिव फ्रीक्वेंसी नो वी डोंट हैव एनी सिक्सटींथ नंबर सो वॉट वी आर गोइंग टू टेक वी आर गोइंग टू टेक द नेक्स्ट नंबर और द हाइएस्ट नंबर आफ्टर सिक्सटींथ हाइएस्ट नंबर आफ्टर सिक्सटींथ इज ट्वेंटी थ्री लेवन विल बी लो थर्टी विल बी मोर सो ट्वेंटी थ्री इज आफ्टर सिक्सटींथ सो वी आर गोइंग टू टेक ट्वेंटी थ्री एंड विच क्लास इंटरवेल लाइज इन क्यूमुलेटिव फ्रीक्वेंसी ट्वेंटी थ्री इट इज ट्वेंटी टू थर्टी सो दिस सिक्सटींथ टर्म यू हैव टू राइट लाइक दिस सिक्सटींथ टर्म लाइज बिटवीन ट्वेंटी टू थर्टी क्लास इंटरवल ओके सो सिक्सटीन द टर्म लाइज बिटवीन ट्वेंटी टू थर्टी क्लास इंटरवल नाउ वी हैव टू सी वॉट इज द फॉर्मूला ऑफ मीडियन ओके लेट एस सी द फॉर्मूला ऑफ मीडियन बट बिफोर सीइंग द फॉर्मूला ऑफ मीडियन फर्स्ट वी हैव टू नो अबाउट एल वॉट इज एल इयर एल इज द लोएस्ट नंबर इन ट्वेंटी टू थर्टी इन द क्लास इंटरवल वॉट एवर यू आर गेटिंग एज सिक्सटीन द टर्म और द टर्म विच वी हैव कैलकुलेटेड इन विच you have to see which is the lowest number is 20 lowest or 30 lowest 20 is the lowest so l here will be our 20 next we have to see cumulative frequency here cumulative frequency we have seen as 23 but here when we are taking cumulative frequency we should not take 23 we should take the above number of it what is the above number it is 11 then we have to see interval interval is nothing but the gap between both these numbers how much is the gap the gap is 10 so we are going to take 10 as the interval what is the frequency frequency 20 to 30 is lying between which frequency it is 12 so f here will be 12 let us see the formula now the formula of median the formula of median is l plus n by 2 minus cumulative frequency by f frequency multiply by i okay so this is the formula we need to substitute all these values into this formula we will be doing the calculation here okay okay so we have seen l let us again write the formula of median l plus n by 2 minus cumulative frequency by frequency multiply by i how much is the l l we have seen as 20 20 plus n by 2 how much is n by 2 n by 2 is nothing but the term how much is the term it is 16 minus cumulative frequency what the cumulative frequency was it was 11 11 frequency how much is the frequency frequency is 12 12 multiply by i how much is the interval it is 10 now you do the calculation how much you are getting you see let me do the calculation you also do the calculation Okay, let me do here itself. Sixteen minus eleven. How much it will be? Five. Five by twelve into ten. Twenty plus five divided by twelve. Mod. Let us do here. Now let us go with the mod. In the mod also same. You will be taking marks. 
x students or number of students you can mention it is f yes 0 to 10 10 to 20 20 to 30 30 to 40 40 to 50 and the students are 3 8 12 7 to whatever they have given in the question that thing only you have to take okay so now here let us see the formula of mode okay we are having formula for mode also here in the continuous series formula is l plus f1 minus f0 by 2 f1 minus f0 minus f2 into or multiply by 1 this is the formula now let us go with the formula substituting the values into the formula l how much it is as we have seen when we were calculating mean i said you that l is nothing but 20 least one 20 plus f1 so here you have to see 16 the term or the term which we have calculated in median was 20 to 30 lying between 20 to 30 so here what is the frequency you see it is 12 so we will be taking 12 this 12 will be f1 and the above one will be f0 and the below one will be f2 okay i think you are clear with this now what we are going to do 20 plus 12 f1 is so when you do the calculation our mode is something between 24.44 something like that okay so mode here is 24.44 so now we are done with mean median and mode so by watching both of these videos you are perfect with the calculation of mean median and mode in both the series if you are having any doubts let me know in the comment section for notes you have to uh, text me on my instagram learn with sahira okay see you all in the next video Bye bye